The UK is somehow going through a lot. From Prime Minister Boris Johnson stepping down as Prime Minister, inflation and with the nation witnessing extreme and scorching heat. And now to add to those woes, according to reports, drought could be declared in quite a few regions. With all the woes that the United Kingdom is facing, the nation is staring at another catastrophe, drought. It follows the start of a four-day amber heat warning below normal levels in waterways and England's driest July since 1935, during which the temperature rose above 40 degrees Celsius for the first time. The news comes after areas of southern and eastern England recorded less than 10% of average July rainfall, while for England as a whole it was the driest since 1935. The situation has continued into August with southeast England receiving no rainfall so far this month. Droughts could be declared in quite a few regions of the country. A source from the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs has told Sky News. The drought declaration is not expected to cover the whole country, a source added. Local water companies have their own plans for droughts and enact them if needed, which could include hose pipe bans like those already announced by Southern Water and Southeast Water. It will mean residents affected can expect to see a series of restrictions on domestic and commercial use of water, including hose pipe bans depending on local arrangements. Much of the country is currently experiencing extreme heat and little rainfall. There is no single definition for drought, so while it is caused by period of low rainfall, each is different, with the nature, timing and impacts varying according to location and which sectors are affected, such as public water supply, agriculture, the environment or industry. The Environment Agency's National Drought Group gets together and looks at statistics including rainfall, how much water is left in rivers, reservoirs and lakes, as well as temperature forecasts over the coming weeks to decide whether drought conditions have been reached. No specific targets need to be reached. The NDG just decide whether all these factors together constitute a drought and they can give an indication of how severe and long-lasting it will be. The Environment Agency then decides whether to signal a drought or severe drought. The two most recent droughts were declared in 2018 and a more severe one in 2011. The first heat wave earlier this year and the driest July on record in parts of the country have already seen England's drought level increase to the prolonged dry weather stage. This means there is a short-term risk to wildlife, plants and crops and drought plans are being enacted by water companies. At the most severe stage, private and public water supplies would be at risk and restrictions would be imposed. Nearly all of the UK received below average rainfall in July, with the exception of the far north of Scotland. The latest weather forecast has the UK on track for hotter than normal conditions and a heat wave pushing temperatures into the mid-30s in some areas this week, triggering health alerts. And it is not just the UK that is affected. There are fair, further dry weather forecast for many countries across Europe for this month and next will exacerbate the already critical situation and impact on agriculture, energy and water supply. Almost half of European Union land is currently under a drought warning or in the most severe alert status. Scientists say the likelihood of droughts occurring is becoming higher due to climate change driven by greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels and other human activities. If things get worse, an extreme drought may be declared. This would result in local restrictions being introduced by water companies on non-essential water use including limits on commercial car washes, swimming pools or the cleaning of commercial premises. If conditions worsen further still, water companies may need to ask the government for an emergency drought order to allow them to ration water supplies to homes and businesses at certain times of day or to ask customers to access water from standpipes or mobile water tanks. Farmers could also face restrictions, usage for irrigation. 